Welcome to Illuminar, and this is the unboxing of the iLogic 8 UV and Far Red. And we're going to dive into this and show you guys everything you get when you buy this product. Okay, let's dive in. When you get our product, just be really careful when you guys cut into it. I always say kind of lift these tabs up when you cut out the tape, just to make sure you don't damage the fixture. We do a really good job of protecting on the inside, but it's always good to be safe. Okay, when you open up your fixture, first thing you want to notice is just take account of all the parts. You look on each side, you're going to have four bars on one side, four bars on the other side, main power bar in the middle. You're going to remove your plastic here. Make sure none of these uh, foam uh, inserts, you know, have any damage coming to the ends or anything like that. If you do see any exterior damage on the box, definitely contact us right away. That way uh, we can make a, a warranty claim if the, if the product inside the box is damaged. But as you can see, each one of these has a good amount of foam on the ends, so it should be pretty secure. So let's pull these out. Everything should slide out really easily. So I got my four bars. You guys will notice inside here, you guys are going to get a communication cable. So this is a communication cable um, that can either go to your next fixture uh, if you have multiple fixtures, or you can even use this cable if you have a hash controller, go from this first fixture down to your hash controller if you just have one. We have two sets of rope ratchets for hanging up. You'll have uh, one set on each hook on each end, we'll, but we'll get to that. And then we have the power bar. Now, uh, what I will tell you guys is hold on to your box. Um, you don't have to hold on to it forever, but let's make sure you guys have a working fixture and no problems within your first initial trial, trial period with the fixture. That way, if you do need to send it back to us for any reason, you still have a shipping box and be able to get this uh, package back up. So always hold on to your stuff for a week, a month, whatever you feel comfortable with, just in case um, there are any issues with it. First thing I'm gonna do before we actually do the assembly is I'm gonna give you some notes on things to be careful about when you're assembly is. Now, you can assemble these with gloves if you'd like. It's not necessary. Just wanna be careful not to make contact with the surface mounted diodes or any of the LEDs on this side of the board right here. And what I wanna point out is the most fragile ones. The most fragile ones you'll notice have a little dome. Those are your red diodes. So these aren't actually um, as much into the far red but you do want to be careful. Right next to them, you actually see uh, a, a marking that says FR, and they'll have numbers next to how many diodes they are. Um, those are your far red diodes. The dome ones are the most fragile, don't want to bump those, and then you actually have your UV uh, over to the left here. The orange colored ones right here, those are your full spectrum, and those are pretty durable, but you, once again, want to be really careful uh, with the diodes as you're doing assembly. So you always want to try to hold it from the back and not make any contact directly to the diodes, just to make sure that you have the, the best result once you have this assembled. So now we're going to assemble this and I'm going to show you guys how to install one bar and then we're going to install all the bars and we'll show you the elapsed time on how long it actually takes to assemble this fixture. So uh, first thing you want to do is you want to orient the cord right here on this end with the side that has the plug on it and the plug's gonna go in there, so cord's on this side, so we know it's oriented in the right direction. Then we're just gonna line it up with the channels right here, and all you have to do is line these two pin, channel pins right here, and just give it just a little bit of pressure. It wiggles a little bit. It is plastic on plastic, so it might be a little tough, but just installed it with one finger, push it in, here the snap. Um, no more screw in, we just have a snap lock here, so you're just gonna Put the cord over, you're going to twist it a little bit, wait for it to kind of drop in, and then you just give a little pressure and you hear the snap and it's in and you're ready to go. So now we just replicate that process seven times and we have this fixture all set up. We're going to do an elapsed time for you guys to see actually how long it takes. assembled minute 54 seconds even had a little hang up on one side um, 
So you're fully assembled, now you're ready to hang this up. I definitely recommend because of the overall size of these fixtures and their weight, you want two people, um, just so you make sure that you know it's not dropped or anything like that. It is kind of cumbersome to maneuver this because there's a lot of weight right in the center and you have these really wide bars and you don't want to bump these too hard because they are all oriented in a such fashion you don't want to mess up their uh, mounting points. So let's flip this over and show you how the rope ratchets go on and you guys are going to be ready to go. Okay, so now there's four points to hang the fixture up with. We have one, two, three, four, and you're going to get yourself four rope ratchets. So um, you definitely want to spread these out. Don't try to go short. Put one rope ratchet on each one of these hooks and this is the way it's going to hook in. You take the little carabiner in right here and you're just going to open it up, hook it in and you're good to go. And then you're able to hook this to your top mounting point. Um, there are some people that will want to hook it up like this with the other end. That's just as fine. This will hold up uh, the entire weight of this fixture either way. Um, you can either hook it up on this end or the other end. Uh, both will work for uh, your application. So all you want to do is then replicate this on that point, this point, and that point with one rope ratchet each, and you're good to go. Um, some of you guys might not actually have the use of another person in your room to get this set up. And as I said, it can be pretty difficult to move this around. So what I'm going to show you is a quick little thing that we did with some of the foam here. So you can actually orient this in the right position without hurting the diodes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this with two hands across the main. I'm going to take this whole fixture and do a big flip just like this. And what I'm going to show you guys is we actually inserted the foam. These are the foam pieces that actually do not have the longer piece on it. And you can actually just stick those right in between. And when you've done that, now you can actually pick this entire fixture up and flip it over like we showed you and set it down above your mounting point. So if you're gonna mount this right above this, I'm gonna take this fixture just like this. And it is heavy, this is almost 50 pounds. You can set it down just like that, no hands, no diodes are touching the floor. You can hang this up and then use the rope ratchet to lift it up off the ground. This is probably the safest way to do this versus trying to hold it up in the air while you try to hook those carabiners in. Um, and this is probably the best way to get this hung up if you're running solo. So quick tip for you guys that are out there uh, doing this on your own, this will definitely help you guys mount it. So that is your unboxing of the Illuminar iLogic 8. Now between the iLogic 8 UV infrared and full spectrum, the only difference between those two fixtures besides the diodes is the color of the box. The UV far red is a white box, the full spectrum is our traditional black box. So if you see them in the store, you're gonna see the two colors. There's just telling you the difference between the two spectrums. Now, um, all we have left is for you guys to hit that subscribe button so you see all of our newest videos. If you wanna see this fixture itself and all of its features, watch our full iLogic video and that'll break down all of the things about the iLogic family and all of the fixtures that are coming with that. Um, definitely hit a like button if you like this unboxing. We try to make it real quick for you. And as always, set alerts so you can see our newest videos and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining us guys, bye.